welcome back. Time to go to my coronation. Really nothing there. Alright. As King Gorm. Well, King Bob, because Gorm's not in this one. Gorm was a failed build. I do have a thought of doing like a, a rogue build, a witch build, all this other stuff. Maybe like a crot, like a dual build, I don't know. I don't know. Doing two classes, I don't, I don't get it. But, that's me. So. Off to the capital. At Tuskdale. I need to catch my breath. I'm hungry. One way stop. Rest. Armor must be st and da, 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 da. We have a library. Your Grace, <laughs> I just realized that I won't be calling you that much longer. I just wanted to tell you that everything is ready for the celebration. Your guests have arrived, the capital is fully decorated for the festivities, and the people can't wait for you to make your entrance. All right then, now we can definitely start celebrating. It's just so incredible. I'm so excited. A new kingdom is about to appear. Right here, before my very eyes. Enough, girl. Let us say a word or two as well. So, Your Grace, are you ready to put a proper crown upon your head? You have no need to answer. I can read it in your eyes. You simply cannot wait. After everything we've been through to reach this moment, remember the season of bloom? What about the monster that almost killed Jod and me right in the middle of our own capital? And you even managed to avert a simmering war. Yes, it's high time you get something you deserve. Even more than all these Sertovas and Eldori. A kingdom of your own. And indeed, your own independence. Uh-huh. So much has happened, and much more is still to come. Mark my words. You may have dealt with the barbarians, but there remain more than a few threats nearby. Take Patax, for instance. A basket of snakes in our backyard. But never mind. Let's stop this dark talk, at least for today. Here's what I should like to say instead. Though you change your baron's coronet for the royal crown, stay humble. Rule wisely. Don't be too harsh to your people, and don't let us down, for we believed in you from the very beginning. All right, that's it. Enough lecturing for today. That's it. The ceremony is prepared. I'll wait for you outside. Brace yourself and emerge in full splendor. The coronation will commence as soon as you arrive at the square.
Do we have a better helmet? No, I don't think so. Alright, coronation time. Baron, what took you so long? Everybody has been waiting for you. Hurry up! I've searched all the books, but I couldn't find anything that resembled a coronation protocol for the Stolen Lands. So, I took the liberty of penning the program myself. Don't worry, I did the very best I could. <clears throat> Citizens of the kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great excitement and indescribable awe that I, Lindsay, official chronicler of the hero who stands beside me, hereby declare the beginning of a sacred ceremony, the coronation of the first legitimate ruler in the history of the Stolen Lands. By the power of the representatives of the other royal houses who recognize him as their equal, and according to the will of the people who accepted him, he now ascends the throne, which has been waiting empty for so long, for such a worthy ruler. My fellow citizens, I hereby introduce your king and your undisputed leader. Now he stands before you, ready to accept your will. Everyone who has gathered here, are you ready to swim? Erastiel, save the king! Hail to the king! We pledge our loyalty. Long live the king! Yeah, yeah, sure. How much longer are you gonna <laughs> wag your tongues? I'm not subject to anyone, so I cannot swear fealty, but... So it is decided. And now, it's your turn, your highness. <clears throat> Into your... How do you intend to rule this land and its people? With benevolence and care for those who suffer? Or with I'll destroy the unworthy... No. <laughs> the un Lawful good. Will you honor the old ways and traditions? which spread through these lands long before your time. And will you abide its laws, which Lawful good. finally, what will be the motto under which you shall rule? Lawful well. good. <clears throat> Just Esteemed skip her voice. Gentlemen, Just let us bow God, together I hate your voice. and witness this solemn moment. So stuttery. Speech, Your Highness. According to tradition, we need a speech. Ladies and gentlemen, His Highness wishes to give a speech. Ah, uh, lawful good. Your Highness. Hail to the king. Let his Highness. Hail to the generous king. Long live the king. That's right. Every word you said was perfect. Listen to me. By his Highness's. Okay. So stuttery. This was a true triumph. Forget some simple barony. Our ruler now wore the crown of a monarch. The time had come for royal feats and equally royal dangers. Oh. Range for a So we are now an independent country. Uh, the Royal Hydras gained six inhabitants to charisma. Intelligence and wisdom, and a plus two bonus against compulsion effects. Actually, I kind of like that. 
Look at all, all my sets are in a green. <laughs> uh, okay. Coronation's done. Building a kingdom, so... Clear out all of this. Protection ones disappear. I miss Wrath of the Righteous where it clicks and it just moves everything across. Uh, we'll keep the twos. Anything that doesn't have a specific name to it. Twenty seven thousand bucks. We are rich. See what has changed. Uh, my name is Aldoni, I turn the throw. Taxing Academy of Grand Arts. Okay. Well, let's go do that. Who do we boot? We'll do that. And um, we'll get a level lure up. Not that far.
The formation is going to be wonky. Where would he be? No. Becomes distance. <laughs> Can't believe Uh, that's done. All right. Uh, our exit's over here. Nice. Well, no fight happened. Always safe to check. Uh, this will be the end of this episode. We'll head back to the capital and such. Oh, I can do no. I'll do that. No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys for the next one. Till then, bye bye. We'll pick up here next time.